Once you have your vehicle safely raised and supported, you're going to remove all five lug nuts using a 21 millimeter. <coughs> Carefully remove the wheel, set it aside. The next thing we're going to do is remove the sway bar link from right here. If you use an 18 millimeter wrench, you can come right inside the back side there and grab onto that and then an 18 millimeter socket and remove these two. Pull this pull pin off. There we are, that gives us plenty of slack there. Now we're gonna use a 10 millimeter right here and remove this one. Let's get the 10 millimeter on here. The next thing we're gonna remove is the bolt that holds the knuckle to the strut. Use an 18 millimeter and then be careful because this will come up and swing around. There we are. I'm going to leave that right there. Do the lower one. Same thing. Watch out for that thing that comes around. This one looks like it had rotted off, so I'm going to grab that with some pliers. All right. Both those bolts are the same. Now I'm going to use a pry bar come right in between the knuckle and the shock strut. Just kind of pry apart, but be careful because you have your brake line still attached. There we are. Now you just want to hang this so it doesn't put any pressure on your ABS or your brake hose. Use a 13 millimeter and remove these four nuts. <coughs> Leave that one on there, a couple threads. <coughs> Set those aside. Now I'm going to hold up the shock, remove this nut, take it right out. Awesome. Let's get ready for an install. Okay, getting close. There we go. That was easy. TRQ strut comes with brand new locking nuts. So I'm gonna use those. If for some reason you weren't, I would definitely use some thread locker. Let's bottom these out. Let's torque these to manufacturer specifications. Let's torque these to 26 foot pounds. torqued. Let's get this off of here. Line this back up. We've got our two bolts. I like to use a little bit of thread locker on these. Got our nuts. That on there. This one's a little bit harder to get to. Gonna push that bolt out a little bit so I can get the nut on there. Let's bottom these out. Let's torque these bolts to 148 foot pounds. Torqued. Let's get the mounting bracket for the brake hose back on here. Make sure you tighten that up. Now clip in a little clip for your ABS wire. Perfect. Okay, now we'll let's bottom these out. Use your 18 millimeter. Right there. 
18 millimeter on this side as well. Snug them up. Let's torque this to 85 foot pounds. Do the same. Get the wheel back up on here. Start on all your lug nuts and then bottom them out. Now we're gonna bring this down and torque it to manufacturer's best. Now with the vehicle's wheel touching the ground, but most of the weight of the vehicle off of it, we're gonna torque these in the star pattern to 100 foot pounds. Torqued. 